what if you can predict the future? For example, predicting demand for smartphones or availability of beds in a hospital, availability of hotel rooms. Accurate demand prediction converts to big money for businesses. This is a common challenge across industries. Let's choose the bike demand prediction as an example use case. Bike sharing companies have thousands of bikes and hundreds of bike stations across each city. Each station has a fixed number of docks for parking bikes and a variable number of bikes available at any time. Real-time dashboards show the problem, but it's too late and expensive to resolve the problem by rebalancing the bikes. If only bike operations could predict the demand per station per hour. So in today's demo, we'll show you how this can be solved by applying uh, big data and predictive analytics. First, let's take a look at the data. Here, we have historical bike availability information integrated with weather condition in each station in 15 minutes intervals. This data is stored in the autonomous data warehouse instance, and we use the SQL developer as an interface to access the data. Next, I will show you how easy it is to create a machine learning model by using the Oracle Analytic Clouds without writing a single line of code. The first thing we need to do is to connect the Oracle Analytic Clouds instance to our autonomous data warehouse instance and upload all the data files we have there to our Oracle Analytic Clouds instance. Once the data is uploaded, we can create our machine learning model by creating a data flow. First, we need to select the data which we want to use for training our model. Then we need to select a subset of columns within that data table that we want to actually use for training our model. In here, we want to use all the columns in our table, so we select all of those columns. Next step is to select the class of machine learning algorithms that we want to use for solving our specific problem. In this case, we want to train a numerical prediction model, so we need to select algorithms within that class. As you can see, we have four different machine learning algorithms built in, uh, in the Oracle Analytic Clouds. Let's try the linear regression model now. The only variable which we need to specify in order to have a complete linear regression model is the target column that we want our model to predict. In this case, we want to predict the number of available bikes in each station at each hour, so we need to select the available bikes columns from our table. As you can see, all the other variables are set by default within the system, and we don't need to change any of those. We just need to save our machine learning model. And the data flow in order to be able to run it. Once the model is saved, we can run uh, the data flow in order to train it on the data set that we provided. We can create four different machine learning models by using each of the existing algorithms. After creating and training all those models, we can compare them based on the r square metrics to find out which model fits our problem the best. As you can see here, the linear regression model fits our problem the best and gives us the best precision among the four algorithms that we tried. All right, that's good. But let's say I want to make this model more precise. I want to fine tune it to my specific problem. I want to train it on the entire data rather than some portion of the data. In order to do that, I'm going to use Oracle Machine Learning Tool, or OML for short, and build the same linear regression model by writing some PL SQL code. Oracle Machine Learning Tool is a tool within the autonomous data warehouse, which enables you to access data and apply machine learning models within the database. We store all these results within the same autonomous data warehouse instance, and we use the Oracle Analytic Clouds in order to visualize this data. Let's look at this result. The first graph that I show you is the result of validating our model and the validation portion of the data. In here, 
blue bars shows the actual number of available bikes at each hour in this specific location. And the green line shows the uh, number of available bikes predicted by our model at the same hour at the same station. As you can see here, the green line pretty much follows the trend in the blue bar, which means our model is able to predict the number of available bikes with a good precision. So we can trust the prediction of our model. Let's look at the predicted number of available bikes in the same station at each hour for future date. In this graph, each bar shows the number of available bikes predicted by our model for a future date at each hour at the same station. As you can see here, around 10 and 11 a.m., there is a shortage of bikes in this specific station. This information can help the planning team to schedule rebalancing in advance in order to prevent this situation from happening in real time. Deriving insights from data by applying machine learning is an iterative process. The ML feature built into OAC enables iterating through models without writing any code. The tool writes the code for you. Doing this in a self-driven, super-fast, highly available database in the cloud with built-in machine learning capability optimizes the entire process. Projects like these, which could take years, can be done in a week or a month. Build, train, and operationalize by leveraging ML algorithms running in parallel on the entire data. No wasting time extracting data, better precision due to larger data set, and finally, continuous adaptive process that refines the model as new data streams in. Thanks for watching this video. You can try out our cloud services for free using the link.